Hello friends, when you go uh, for an interview in Gulf countries, they will ask a uh, question regarding the water supply system. Like in many of the Gulf countries, they, you will see high rise building. How this high rise building water supply system is working? What is the structure? Why this structure is following everywhere? This is the question. Because this particular structure is following everywhere. All high rise building, this is the scenario. There is some uh, specific question they will ask you to trouble you. Question number one, why your booster pump not in ground floor? Why? There is, this question is very simple. Why your transfer pump is not somewhere? Such kind of troubling question they will ask you. And for example, if uh, one building, uh, you know, gravitation uh, pressure, how you will measure? For example, the building height is 20 meter. What is the gravitation pressure? How many bar? You know, this kind of troubling question they will ask you. To be frank, this all, uh, if you uh, consult this uh, system, it will be a piece of cake for you. You can uh, decide what is going on. You can understand what is going on. First of all, in uh, any uh, Gulf countries, high-rise building, Gulf countries all over the world, high-rise building, each and every booster pump. First of all, I will tell you the uh, system how it is. For example, a, uh, the building is like, uh, you know, uh, 30 floor. Yeah, 40 floor building, 40. Number of flo uh, floor is 40. There will be some service floor in each 10 floor or 8 floor. Once 10 floor is there, one floor completely is service floor. There will be booster pump, there will be a storage tank, there is, a, you know, a firefighting system is there, AHUs is there, everything is there. Some other feeding system is there, so many mechanical system is there, electrical panel rooms is there. So each 8 floor or 10 floor, and there will be a service floor in every high rise building. This concept we should understand first. And for the water supply system, how it is uh, working, very clearly you can understand. In the ground floor, maybe basement or ground floor under the area, uh, there is tanks, water tank. This is first feeding water to the building, first feed. And from there, from the basement level, there is first transfer pump is there. Yani water is just transferring to the next level. Maybe, for example, as I tell, uh, told you, it is a 40 floor uh, building. 40 numbers of floors are there. First, eighth floor, there is a tank is there. It will transfer to there. Again, from the uh, eighth floor or uh, tenth floor, whatever it is, service floor is there. From the uh, service floor, next service floor, it will transfer. Again next, again next. Because why like this? If uh, we are uh, transferring the, you know, uh, the, from the basement to the top of the building, it is very hard. And the main problem is that you should bring a, such a huge pump for pushing this one to the top. And there is the main problem is that the, what, uh, the pump head, pump head is the main issue. You will uh, lose a lot of energy uh, while transferring at a single step. The pump head, I will explain to you what is that. For example, for a 40 floor building, 40 number of floor, each 10 meter, you will get a gravitation uh, pressure one bar. It's one point something slightly, but uh, average one bar. For a 40 floor building, you need at least a you know, the pump head, uh, there is a loss uh, of, uh, you know, uh, head loss is there. Of course, there is a four bar. Again, you need to push another, uh, you know, uh, head uh, to reach the water up to there. So that is one difficulty is there. So uh, the high rise building, each service bore, first service bo uh, floor, we will uh, put the water. Again, there is a floating system is there. There is a electronic, uh, electrical floating switch is there. Once the tank is reached to the uh, certain level, then the pump will start to another, uh, you know, transfer level. Another level, uh, the water will transfer. So this is the uh, transfer uh, system uh, in the uh, high-rise building which is using. Again, in the high-rise building, there is so many floors. How we will supply water to those uh, floors. That is another question. 
in every uh, high rise building where your service floor is there where your service floor is there the for example this is the service floor okay and here is one service floor from here it will feed to down from here it will feed to down simple concept why it is like that you will uh, save a lot of energy like uh, for example to feeding down it is very easy uh, water and you can put a small uh, booster pump also you will get a lot of uh, you know pres pressure you can uh, uh, maintain uh, you can control uh, water basically uh, if you are uh, feeding from the down the booster pump uh, it is foolishness basically the booster pump is uh, uh, feeding from down because uh, you know uh, if the uh, you know booster pump is not even working the gravitational water of course there there will be some water flow is there of course and uh, uh, if it is uh, feeding through a booster mechanism there will be uh, you know more uh, pressure it will be we can create if it is down uh, don't say like that if we are bo uh, bo boosting from the down to the up no because you know there is a head loss is there too much losses is there energy waste is there uh, something like that so uh, if wherever the service floor is there we are f feeding to down and how it is for example there is one more uh, specific question they will ask you for example you are, you are uh, service floor in the 10th floor you are uh, feeding uh, from the top to down and the first floor there will be pressure will be very high and the second floor there will be high pressure in the pipe how we will maintain okay is there can you imagine Yes, of course, there is high pressure because the gravitation uh, uh, force is there. Gravitation force is very simple concept. Each 10 meter, one bar. Each 10 meter, one bar. This is the gravitation force uh, you should uh, uh, inform to your interviewer. This is the, you know, not even interviewer, this is the common concept. So, for example, 10 meter, uh, 10 floor building, each floor around 3.7 meter height, each floor. So, you can imagine, imagine how many floor is, uh, how many meter is there. 3.7 meter average, uh, the commercial building's height, uh, you know, slab to slab height, average. So, uh, this con uh, consider this concept, the, the, uh, when you are uh, uh, fixing around a 2 bar pressure for one floor, uh, for example, 2.5 bar pressure for one first uh, uh, ninth floor, so uh, again, gravitation floor is near in the uh, ground level, uh, yeah, for example, first floor level, it will be 2 bar, yeah, sorry like uh, five bar or four bar that kind of high pressure will be there when the top is open water will come to your uh, you know in their uh, body so there is one small equipment is there uh, pressure regulating valves are there uh, prv we can say that prv this all uh, vertical pipelines is running through the shafts there is top to bottom there is uh, you know service shaft is there in the shaft itself there is a access is there uh, to a uh, uh, access door is there from each floor you can access to the shaft there when you are taking the branch from the you know main vertical line there will be isolation valve there is a prv and the prv always uh, you know if there is a vertical line first isolation valve again prv for example prv is damaged or something like that you can close the isolation valve and we can service it this is the concept and before prv for example B, uh, pr uh, sorry the isolation valve is uh, damaging so uh, in certain floors we will put a main isolation valve also uh, so the main vertical isolation valve also we will close and we will can service for example any other floor there is a uh, damage or something is there so this is the concept prv system and each service floor there will be water supply ring lines uh, water supply ring lines you know there is a you know circulation line is there uh, so this ring lines is there and uh, some buildings uh, um, in gulf countries also somewhere it is using but not many common there is uh, one flush water supply is there flush water supply is uh, really you know sewerage treatment plant there is some water <laughs> it is you know um, uh, they are cleaning some waters spt uh, stp sorry uh, stp tank there is some that uh, again reusing for the uh, flushing water service uh, there is some uh, building they are using that one but you should understand what is uh, flushing water what is that domestic water we can use for you know that is a fresh water that is uh, for example in gulf, gulf countries their government they have service uh, they are delivering some water service for example in gulf, gulf countries uh, in uh, uae and aldeva you know dubai uh, electricity water authority so such kind of each uh, Gulf countries there is uh, concerned uh, departments are there. They are uh, delivering water. That is domestic water. 
ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് യു നോ ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡ്രിങ്കിങ് ക്വാളിറ്റി വാട്ടർ ബട്ട് നോട്ട് ഡ്രിങ്കിങ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് വാട്ടർ ബട്ട് ഓൾ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഫേസ് വാഷ് ഫോർ ഷവറിങ് എവറി തിങ് ഈസ് യൂസിങ് ദിസ് വാട്ടർ ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി ക്ലീൻ വാട്ടർ ബേസിക്കലി ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ സിസ്റ്റം ആൻഡ് Uh, if the interviewer is asking uh, which type of uh, tank you are using don't say that uh, we are uh, they can use a cement tank or uh, you know in the basement uh, underground there is a water tank uh, the concrete tank some places is using but a grp is common in floor wise also grp tank is common because the weightless that much for example if you are making that much concrete again each floor the building weight is too much so uh, to control and it's an installation also uh, is very easy this uh, grp tank uh, in any size in low budget we can uh, uh, make this grp tank there is insulated type is there and non insulated type is there two types of uh, uh, grp tanks are there uh, so uh, this one insulated type for example outdoor unit when the sunlight is too much uh, that much uh, you value will not go for inside you know the light the heat will not go inside the water that is uh the insulated type of uh, grp uh, tank so this is the scenario this is the concept uh, what we are using for uh, water supply system the overall structure i told you the same way the drainage system they will ask you so many questions uh, like uh, if from the 40th floor somebody is flushing somebody is uh, you know uh, Uh, flushing the uh, toilet in the basement it, uh, it is coming directly the pipe will blast how you will control it so this kind of a lot of questions the interview will uh, interviewer uh, they will ask you uh, this all we will consider in the next uh, meeting and we will uh, take a lot of knowledge uh, regarding the mbp uh, sector thank you so much for watching this video thank you bye bye